The Kind is Red, a story of hijab and friendship. Written by Ibtihaj Muhammad and S.K. Ali. Art by Hatim Ali. Mama holds up the dress. My sister Asiya's dress. Before that, Mama's dress. Now, it's mine. I hug it close. I've been waiting so long to wear it. Asiya does my hair, just like Mama taught her. She says, almost done, Faisa, just like Mama. I get to slide the sparkliest scarf pin into Asiya's hijab to hug it tight. Mama takes our picture day picture before waving goodbye. My kind, beautiful girls, remember, you are strong and smart. You can do and be anything. At school, my friend Sophie twirls in a dress with big red roses and the biggest red sash. I twirl to show her we match. We march into class together. Today is a special day. It's time to think about what kind of world we want to live in, Miss Ramirez says. What kind of world do you want? She writes all our answers on the board. It's going to be such a good world. Miss Ramirez asks each of us to draw the world we want and give it a name. Everyone around me picks up their color pencils. I see Sophie drawing superheroes, lightning bolts, and flowers. Mama would say, draw a beautiful world. Asiya would say, draw a strong world. Hmm, what do I want? A kind world, a world where there's always a friend nearby, a world of friends helping one another. Okay, class, it's recess time, Miss Ramirez says. Are you ready to make your wishes for the world come true? When we get outside, I link my arm with Sophie's. Let's make the world kinder, I say, with our superpowers, Sophie says. We look for ways to grow a kind, powered world. Molly wants someone to bounce a ball with. Andre wants to play with London, so we look for her. Jada wants to play tag, so we chase each other. It's going to be such a good world. At our second recess, our class keeps using our powers to make the best world. I run to Asiyas to make her day even better and ask her, is there anything I can help you with? She smiles and give me and Sophie and Jada a turn with her basketball. We feel even more powerful after that. Priya needs help putting a band-aid on her hand. Sophie needs her sash tied into a big bow. Mateo needs help with his bow tie. Sophie needs her sash tied into a big bow. Violet and Felix need to stop fighting over the jump rope, so they decide to take turns. When it's time to line up, Sophie needs her sash tied into a big bow again. Mateo and I help her. Our class picture is full of big smiles. Later, Asiya comes to pick me up from my classroom. Sophie's brother and Priya's sister come to pick them up too. It's siblings picture time. Me and Asiya, all by ourselves. We get in line. Molly is wearing the same shirt as her siblings. Andre has the same tie as his brother. Priya is wearing jeans like her sisters. Sophie's brother even has a vest covered with roses. Seeing them makes me happy and sad. Because Asiya and I don't match at all. When Sophie sees my face, she asks, are you okay? Jada asks, do you need help? I tell them. Jada says something to Sophie and Sophie nods and pulls her sash so hard its big bow falls. She pulls it out of its loops 
and Jada spreads it out. And it's big and wide and strong, just like a sea is hijab. It's the most beautiful picture day ever, just like mama wanted. I want a kind world, a world where kindness passes from one to another, like mama passing on her dress, like Asiya doing my hair, like our class passing power to each other, like Jada passing on an idea and Sophie passing her sash, like me passing on this story. Hey friends, it's me, Miss Olivia. Thank you so much for listening in to The Kind is Read, a story of hijab and friendship. Please support the author and illustrator of this book by purchasing your very own copy. I hope you enjoyed listening to this story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. Until next time, my name is Miss Olivia. This is Miss Olivia Reads, and I cannot wait for you to join me for another reading adventure very soon. Bye, friends.